Premier Battles, we are here with the champion and the challenger. Absolute April 23rd. If you've not got your tickets, get your tickets right now. But for those of you who have got the tickets, um, it's almost time. It's that time. Two of the most exciting young talents in battle rap period happen to be coming from the UK, happen to be coming from Premier Battles. Um, I'm going to introduce these these guys one at a time. To the left of me, the challenger, Cole J. What's good, bro? What's good, bro? You good? I'm good. I'm nervous. Nervous, yeah. Tension. You know, can you can you feel it in there? There's something in it. There's a big fight There's, feeling. Yeah, there is something there, isn't it? Yeah. There's something there. So, and, and in order to have a big fight feel, you got to have an opponent. And the champion, fresh off a trip from Vegas, where he beat King of the Dark champion, no shade, all salutes to real deal. Biz old bond, what's going on, bro? Oh, I know. Like I said, tense. Same. Yeah, I am the knife that is trying to cut the tension. You see, the second the Bizzle started talking, Briggs had to turn the vibe oh, up on his microphone. <laughs> <laughs> the minute well, he started I'm gonna, speaking. I'm going to walk into these face off screaming me off. <laughs> Everyone will be like, what? Never, gonna be like, what's up with Bizzle? Was he all right? No, one. So what's wrong with Bizzle? That was like touched on in the King of the Dot. We, we were long one. Said it before, it was. man. I've said it before. I don't do, I don't do talking and fight talk. I'm like a wind up toy. Like I just, the cog just keeps going until game day, and then. So you're saying it, it, it kind of winds you up when people say that you're more soft spoken or whatever. No, it doesn't wind me up. I like it. Yeah. I like it, man. I'm cool, calm, and collected. So yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. You are very cool, calm. It's not like a. It's not an act, or it's not like. I can vouch that it's not out of nerves or anything. This is just you, Jeremy. No, it's just me. It? Just me. I just, like, yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm who I am, aren't I? <laughs> well, you do quiet. transform. Quiet. Tim do you transform. Shy. Do you, you say he's shy? Yeah, it's quiet. You know, there's the guy who doesn't make a lot of noise. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, that's fine. You've always been shy, and it's okay. You're starting to come out of your shell these days, and I do appreciate that. You are a bit. Welcome, it's nice to see Welcome you. to the Cole J Show, it, ladies no, and gentlemen. Been, <laughs> it's been it has been heartwarming to see your development because Thanks. I mean back in the day obviously you were garbage so now you're like you know getting there you really are you're starting is, to make waves is garbage a harsh term or do you really like you think he was garbage back in the day oh no he was trash he was really bad yeah. I wasn't trash but I, I admit that I wasn't anywhere the, the standard that I had to be at the time that I was in the scene by a mile I, I was the first one to admit that hence why I didn't stick around for for long, so the the annoying thing about Bizzo is he'd have like a really good like he always had like mental potential like he, there was always like moments where like after a battle people would be like oh yeah Bizzo's next up and then immediately afterwards he would fuck everything up so it'd be like sounds he, uh, sounds uh, I mean, similar it, 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 it sounds like sounds like, it sounds like someone else so opposite from <laughs> it, me I mean, on it was the, a little uh, similar the difference is I was around the whole time and I had longer runs you had like one battle people would be like oh he's he's doing something and then you would you would fuck it up like you choke against the next person your, run, the your next runs person meant choke. nothing though your runs actually meant nothing i mean like, they didn't really if you think about it I, when i came back to don't flop the first time i i had shocks then i had briggs and i had dna then i had yunan in a run like say that mean then, meant nothing and then but you, you got beat to you now it was three two split decision i did lose yeah three two split decision yeah so loss. But at least at least I've battled these top tiers. I've won some top tier battles. I've lost some top tier battles. You've had you with Rex, one that you've won. Real deal, which I gave it to you, but the Americans didn't give it to you. Well, when you just... see the polls no, the fan vote gave it to Real Deal 2 1. Even though I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm saying that you must have left some room in there for people to argue that Real Deal took the two rounds that he actually got out. Because obviously you won the first by default anyway. Even though I think that was your best round, you won it by default. You could have said the wackest shit you've ever written in your life and you would have won that round. So it's a shame that there was room in there for the Americans to say, hey, Real Deal is still 2-1, the second and third. Well, and I'm not saying that the polls were like massively in his favor. It was like more like 60-40. But, you know... They, you know, still real deal. Don't get the accent today. That's all it is. Yeah, don't get the accent. accent. But I think they would have given Shadi the win if he'd went over there, did it, wouldn't they? I mean, you know, that, that, oh, I'm just saying. I'm using it as an example. You know, Listen, I don't think the accent if, can be. If it an takes excuse. a seven and a half minute round to get one round out of me, then fair enough. But this isn't about just me, Koja. This no, is about no, you no, as well, man. No, of course. Of this course, must be hurting you. This must be hurting you talking about me this long. So come on, what's the, what's <laughs> ne next question? <laughs> <laughs> See, like um, you said, he was trash. 
in the past. Back in the day. Back in the day. So obviously you see there was a turnaround. There was yeah. something that sparked and sparked a new journey, which led to the, to the championship. Of course, yeah. So um, with that being said, what's it like to prepare for a new version of Bizzle, which it, it, it evolves every time. Yeah, every, it does, yeah, every yeah. match it evolves and it. it's always for something sure. new. But you do as well. Mm. And then I think it's, that's why, you know, whatever the term is, irresistible force, immovable object. When it when it happens, mm-hmm. it's it's gonna be a classic. It, it's 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 gonna be something mad. I would argue that this force. is it's something like what is it? Unstoppable. unstoppable. <laughs> I was just talking about myself on that. Yeah, <laughs> unstoppable <laughs> force. You know what it is. Um, yeah, I'd argue with you that this could also be your biggest battle of your career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Facts. I mean, I've had bigger names. I've had like people who are better than Bizzo, um, quite a few of them. But um, I'd say that it's mo- it's very exciting mm-hmm. this matchup for me because I know that Bizzo's like trying to like he's putting everything into this. Like he does not want to fucking lose at all. If he loses, he might cry. I think he might like he's actually like that's how much he's emotionally invested. In you're this. a battler that would be very hard to lose to in them senses. You're not. You won't let people forget it mm. like mm-hmm. you love like it wouldn't let me forget it, it if especially if in this won. i have to free old coj let's be honest if, if it's a yeah. 2-1 decision he will fight to the death online in person at events that he should have won Facts. the title should have been his <laughs> real shit and then everyone's just against I'm, him i'm already fucking tim foil hat time it should have been mine everyone yeah. Yeah. if it's a 2-1 yeah, that's it that's so i have to free owen it's yeah. as simple as that i have to free owen and Which is obviously impossible. I mean, it's impossible for you to do it. You okay. can't do it. You can't do it. I mean, you lack too much to do okay. that. You do. As good as you've gotten, there are things that you just can't, you're not going to be able to learn unless you like a whole new Bizzo turns up, like a brand new one. I'm not talking about one that's writing better. I'm not talking about one that's a little, li- I mean, a whole new Bizzo, someone who's actually out there, like, engaging with the performance. Like, well, just. A, a, what's the added, what's the added? ingredients which which you would be saying that he's missing out on well, like, for what, him what, what, what's the extra like, step like back? real real presence real presence real command of a stage real command of a crowd he hasn't had the chance to really show he can have crowd control yet he hasn't had a you know opportunity to do that i'm not saying he's not capable of it he just hasn't had the chance to do it um and that's why that's why this battle's so good though man that's, just, that's why because yeah. i've said it in streams i've said it in interviews like you can't use something like that against me because it's a, we're stepping into an unknown entity. Like we we don't know how I'm going to perform in front of a big crowd. And I don't it's think not, it's that unknown. It, it, it is though because it's, it's, it it's not it's not happening. You're just I you're, know you're, you're you're predicting Bizzo, how Bob. it's gonna go, bro. You're I know you, how it's gonna go. What's the biggest crowd you've performed uh, to up to this date? Uh, I'd probably say like a full Brixton Jam. Uh, when I battled Tally, that was probably my biggest one. Yeah. That was your second battle on Don't Flop ever. That's ten years ago, my yeah, G. Don't, you can't say it like this though. Like <laughs> I've been, like I've been ago. plugging along for a decade and waiting for my big chance. I haven't. I've been in and out of this, like with big so period, right. big period. Yeah, we've, I'm, we've done I'm the not same saying, of, I'm not saying that you've been ten years deep. But though. the difference is, I don't have to reach ten years back for a battle with a crowd in it. You know what I'm saying? But like that, an actual but crowd. That, but that's just you know the way. That's just the way. That's just the way it's gone, bro. Like th- th- we've had uh, we've had COVID go on for two years now, mm-hmm. and when on my best run, it, it just happened to be during COVID. But that's not to say that the run ends now because all the crowds are back in the room. That that could just mean that could just mean that things elevate even more than they already are doing. That's what I'm hoping will happen anyway. So. But then I can go back to your point where you said, "Oh well, your run didn't matter." Of course it mattered. Do you want to know why it mattered? Because when you came into Prem, you had to start the academy. Academy. When I came into Prem, I was handpicked. I chose for the to start week. the academy. You chose to start I the chose. academy. I applied no for it. No one was going to pick Bizzo for the team. No one would. No, cut, stop lying. Come you on, know bro. for a fact. Come no on, one bro. was everyone, picking Bizzo everyone, for their team. Everyone you didn't knew exist. who I was when I. But you didn't I, exist. Though. Well, I would have existed. I just wanted to make sure that the way I came in was right. And I started at a competitive level and built my way back up again because it had been so long. And I'd taken. Off the off the cuff battles for two three years, breaks in between. So, I said, right, I'm gonna have a run of battles in a competitive environment and grow my grow my confidence, play with my skill set, experiment, and that's that that was my that was my decision as a battler to get back into the game. I, I'm I'm not an ego filled uh, battle rapper 
that uh, not you. <laughs> you're all right. It's the one at the end of the table. No, uh, <laughs> one that one that wants to be picked on his own merit, like he's just pretty much just said like. Who I, I could have been picked not, on. I could have ego. It's I could, to do with I could ego. have been picked on merit if I wanted to. But you weren't. But, so but that's I could not have, like you I, could have been. But you I didn't not. give. I didn't give anyone the opportunity to do that. Like you're saying it like if I was to go to Prem, I'd have to have a tryout battle against someone who'd never battled before. That wouldn't have happened. No, I you just would have never been picked for an no, original I would have got. I would have got. I would have got a um, a battle of some stature. If, in my first battle for Prem, if I'd played my card in that way, like who? I don't who know. Do I don't. Any... What, okay, so before before Prem, let's 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 be real. During Prem, besides Bobby and Matter, so take your Anarchy run out, and even just your last two. Who was an <laughs> opponent? Who was an opponent you consider you'd battled that was of stature at any time? In during Prem, no. I'm saying besides your Anarchy run, before your most recent run, but, who have you battled of stature that only, would have qualified you to my take only, a battle of stature? But my only battles. In Prem, aside from one after losing in the Academy semi final right. and battling Deviant, th 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 other than that, I've not. So, exactly. So, why would you have commanded a name of stature? I'm not, I'm in not, Prem? I'm you not just saying, said I'm that. not, no, of some stature. Not, not, I won't be coming in going, oh, I want unanimous or I want Koji or mm. I want this person. I'm saying that I, it was my decision to come back into Prem like that. It wasn't anyone else's. No one said, Oh, we're not going to give you that name. You're going to have to go to the academy. You, I chose to go to the academy. Like that was my decision. Everyone chooses to go to the academy. It's, you apply, so that's yeah, a look, moot point. Everybody cho chooses. Well, that's to that's go what to the I academy. wanted. That's what I wanted to do. That was the way I saw myself growing again. Yeah, it was, from the, the, it was the sensible. It was, I was the sensible decision the... based on where you were at. You. It was the best decision you could have made because you weren't. You weren't anywhere. You didn't exist. But I could. Point. I could have quite like if you compare it to today. I could have quite easily got on the mid card of an undisclosed against against someone of mid tier. It, quite easily, it would have happened. And don't forget, like when I came back to the academy that year, the the scene was dying out. It was. It was dead. It was. It was scraps and everything. So. That was just what I decided to do. Like it was, it wasn't because I thought if I don't apply for the academy, I won't get a decent name on the card. It wasn't. It was just my way of thinking. I could have consecutive battles, mess about, find out where my style is, grow my style, get myself, get my name back going again, get a few wins under my belt, actual wins, not ones that aren't judged. And then later down the line, it's oh yeah, well I won that battle. Yeah, well I don't think you did. Yeah, no, I did. I did. I did like that. Official judge wins, which is what I wanted. So that's why that's why I did what I did, mm. and that's where I am. That's where I'm at now because I've had another tournament run and I've won it, mm. and now I'm now I'm champion defending against you. So it's, I mean, having a go, having champion a champion is. I mean, you're, 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 the you're the champion. He's the, he's the champion. But I mean, that's fine. I mean, you didn't win the belt or anything. You just kind of you, 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 maybe I doubt it. <laughs> there you go. Yunnan's on good form right now. Like I think Yunnan is one of the best ever. Like. I agree. Yeah, so I agree. It would have been a fire battle. You've gone on record to say as well that uh, you was disappointed that you didn't get to. Of course, you anyone would be, yeah, for sure. Take Yunan's the title one, like you, that. Yeah, Yunnan's one of the best in the country, and if I had, if I had a beaten him to win the title, then it, it would have been a very like fulfilling moment for me. But I've, I haven't had that. So do you class this as like your yeah? Title this is this match? is like this is this is like the crowning, yeah. the crowning moment. Like this is why it's so important. Yeah. It so it's it almost like you. In your mind, and like for you, like by the letter of the law and the way the rules are and shit, you you both going for the belt. Yeah. This time. I've, yeah. Ne I've never, yeah, I've never, fair. I've never played it, played it up that I'm like the out and out champion. Like I know that I have to prove, I have to <laughs> prove, I have to prove, I have to prove. I have, to prove I have never heard a bigger lie told on camera. He has had that over his shoulder in every photo that's ever been taken Listen, since he got it. But I haven't been overplaying that I'm the champion. Never said, no, you I wasn't overplaying it. I was never I wasn't overplaying it. I wasn't overplaying it. It's all you've heard Listen, everywhere. Listen. I'm the champion. Put it in his bio. Put it <laughs> you yeah, you're the champion. We know, trust me. We know. I'm the, I'm bringing I'm bringing significance back to the title. That's why I am seen with it in events. That's why it's plastered everywhere because previous champions haven't done that so mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's me that's me showing significance to it because i want the title to mean something not just for me but for the league and for the brand like if you the united kingdom champion it needs to mean something and in previous years it didn't mean anything because no one defended it no one could keep hold of it 
and it was one. It was one of those things that it it, it born. It didn't have any significance in the scene, and now it now it does. Now people are talking about it. Now people want to see title matches. Now people are excited to watch you battle me for the for the belt on the twenty third, and that's what it's that's what it's all about. That's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for promo for everyone, including yourself, to give the belt some significance. I never said your reasons were bad. I just said you lied about saying you never said you were. I mean, no, you did. In, so in, in do the, you agree that in, you brought prestige to the belt? I agree that his little photo ops and all the cute things that he's been doing to promote himself have been, you know, good to uh, show the title off. It's been good, you know. I think it's, I think it's cute. Um, but like realistically, uh, the prestige was always going to be on the title. I think after Yunan took it because Yunan had a great performance against Matter when he took it. Unfortunately, you know what happened happened i think anarchy also helped to give prestige to the title because it was like we're going through these runs for a chance to go for the title i think there are a lot of elements i don't think necessarily it was you who did it i think taking credit for it is kind of weird but i mean you can do that if you want to um <laughs> also you guys sorry okay. yeah no i was carry on, say, i thought i thought it was strange because in his interview he did an interview yesterday he's talking about uh like it's got this like weird like vision of what the title is and everything he's like oh i think if Koji wins the title, it'll just be for himself. But if I win the title, it'll be the whole scene. We the whole know. scene will be we cheering all know. for him. We all know. As, as if he's the savior Fucking... coming to save the UK. I'm here to drag the UK Koji up from the dust. To... Koji... If I have the title, it'll be for everyone. We all win if I win. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if I win the title, it's the same as you having the title, bro. It's the same shit. Bro, if you, <laughs> win, if you win the title, that belt comes back with beans on it. And... <laughs> Yeah, you, you'll literally be using this you'll be using this belt it will be for, clean for do, and no it won't you'll be doing be, squats in it, it you'll be doing be squats in the gym with it, it on will be beautiful. spot me with this bro UK champion squat squats here I'm going for a PB let's, let's do this that you'll never see that belt in better condition I feel like fucking, fucking, fucking fingerprints all over that shit right now it's disgusting that it, would be polished to a T if it were mine you'll be in you know cash converters in 48 hours that's where it'll be 100% would not be letting Randall fucking buying his buying his forklift license Fort lift license training course with it. Trade this belt in. Piss me off. I might do Do you both, both of you guys have mentioned you on a couple of times. Do you both uh, think that depends? Regardless of whoever wins this match, mm. he's uh, he's due a fight for the belt. No. No? And no, I don't. I think after the period of time between it, he probably needs. One maybe two matches within Prem. To I would, I would, I would say a contenders match makes a lot of sense, yeah. but I don't think jumping straight for the belt makes any sense at all, especially yeah. since he's been off doing other battles as well. That's true. Um, yeah, that was that was one that was one thing. Yeah, so I I, I agree. A number one contenders match. Yeah, fair enough. And it, and again, it adds it adds more fight and prestige for it. So let's uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm game for that. Yeah, but yeah, back to back to this match. What matters now? Um. You you said that he's like um, very reserved in his style yeah. and whatnot. You've said he's very um, outgoing, so to speak, loud, likes to talk Annoying. a lot, type of shit. Gimp. The two the two <laughs> different <laughs> the two different styles I've always found like in battle rap. Two different styles always makes a great match. Mm -hmm. Always makes a, a good match. Um, how you used to guys barking on you? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I've just had, I've just come back from Vegas with real deal barking on me. Yeah. Um, That's I, another point as I've, well. And but my last two battles, I've been I've been barked on. Bob Bobby Rex, you can't get a bigger a bigger barker than Bobby Rex yeah, on you. Um, it's all part it's all part of the process, isn't it? And I know Koji's going to do this, do that as well. Koji has got that performance factor, so I'm not doubting that he's not going to command the stage and. And Koji is an aggressive battler. Yeah. Like he's definitely taking up I'm, space. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking, I'm not taking like anything away from Koji. I've said it on streams it, as he's probably, uh, as he's probably watched. I think he's a, he's a great battler. He's a, he's a great performer. Um, and I know what I need to do to beat him on the day. So, yeah, that's what that's that's all it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm fully, fully expecting Koji to bark on me. So, yeah, and it's, it's, it's nothing new. As um, reserved as Bizzo can be in person. This version of Bizzle that we got now, he's a barker as well, really. He closes space in as well, really. It's easy to overlook with, like, just because of the persona he carries in press and in promo uh -huh. and stuff, it's easy to take that, like, 
that's the way he performed. Oh, but he's, he's a big physical guy yeah, as well. Yeah, he's definitely come out of his shell. That's what yeah. I'm saying. He's come out of his shell. He used to perform like he talks back yeah. in the day. That's how, And he, it was a big mistake. Now he's coming out of his shell a bit, like, and he's been doing it gradually. However, I think that there was a, a regression from the Bobby to the real deal performance as far as that goes. Okay. I feel like when he was with Bobby Rex, he was his most, you know, commanding and yeah. he had a lot of presence against real deal he scaled it back to like i don't know maybe like when he was battling like before anarchy and maybe it was circumstantial i don't know but he was more introverted again so i know like i'm expecting him to be his most extroverted performance wise i'm expecting him to be you know his give his most energy to yeah. the performance against me like you know similar to what he did with bobby or whatever yeah um but I don't think that's – I don't even think that makes him a barker, really. It just gets his point across properly. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't think it's performative. However, the thing I think that's most scary about Bizzo, realistically, is, you know, his bar game. Like, yeah. it, it, the way he can bar out. Like, he's yeah. very, very good with punchlines. Um, and, yeah, he does them – he's pretty consistent as well over three rounds, just, like, hitting – he doesn't really like to waste a bar. You yeah. know what I mean? And that, I think, is the most uh, threatening or dangerous aspect of Bizzo. Yeah. I think, you know, the rest of it, he is improving and working around. But that is, like, is, yeah. you know. So if you had to evil. underline, like, two attributes, one where he's dangerous and one where he's he's really not, Okay. you would say his performance and yeah. his writing. His writing is where he's dangerous. Dangerous. His performance is where he's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what about you with him? If you had to pick a, a strong and weak attribute from him? Definitely his, his performance is his, is his strong suit, mm -hmm. 100%. Um, I think he has flat spots in his rounds, yeah. which won't bode well in a battle with me. Like you just said, I want to hit every bar, so I'm hoping he comes and tries to do the same. So that's what that's my only mm. criticism as such. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, in, in, in rounds, in his most recent battles, he does hit a couple of flat spots. So, we'll you're you're a every bar kind of guy. Yeah, you try and punch a lot. Yeah, you have a lot of build ups. Yeah, but your punches are, are heavy as well. Mm -hmm. With any, I don't need to give too many too much tactics away. But you see any of that change in either of these? Like for this specific match, with it being for the belt and the title on the line, which strategy change a little? I have yeah, I have different a different approach slightly. Okay. Um, I think um. It, the flat spots, I agree with you where there's flat spots in rounds, but I like to arc build in rounds. Yep. Um, I like the, to kind of have, you know, peaks and troughs, so to speak. Um, yeah. But also, like, I'm not, I, I can't say too much about what, yeah, I, you know, no, what I'm trying close. to do, but yeah. yeah, I've got, I've changed it a little bit yep. because I know the kind of style that I'm up against. I don't think I've been up against a style that's like as punchy yeah. for a while. I can't remember the last one. Um, it's been a long time, pretty yeah. much, before I've been in like a boxing match, so to speak. Yeah. I've been in a few of them, but it's been a while, I think. Now. What 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 uh, rapper like uh, could match his caliber that you faced, or even be better than him? Like you said before, you faced guys better mm -hmm. than him. Shocks. Um, you think Shocks is better than Bizzo? Yes. Um, he's he's a better performer. He's better with bars. Sorry, Prem. Um, uh, not not recently, but like Shocks in his prime. Yeah, Shocks is better. Um. Yunan, I think now is better. Got it. Um, <laughs> Yunan <laughs> now, I think is better. Uh, Tony D. Yunan now is better, or the Yunan you faced? The Yunan now. I think the Yunan I faced, I always thought I won that battle, to be honest with you. Um, there he goes again. Because uh, Yunan was like, his <laughs> rounds were like six minutes. Mine were the two minutes we agreed to. He, that's, that's standard Yunan. Though, yeah, he used angles that didn't even apply to me. His whole second round didn't apply to me, but it went off in the room. But it was completely irrelevant to me. But the unit now doesn't do like these long ass schemes and like where they don't really go anywhere. The unit now is like very punchy. Okay. Like he's very like refined, I feel like, at least in my opinion. Um, so yeah, Yunan Quill again, puncher, a vet. Um, uh, I face Raptor. I don't think Raptor's is punchy. I think Raptor's not really a punch style. Yeah. Um, so as far as punchliners go, I think it's them. Also DNA, I guess you could yeah. say as well. Um, DNA. I, that's yeah, it. yeah. DNA. That's uh, punch is pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think Bizzo's better right-handed. 
Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, Bizzo's that, been in Bizzo's been in moments like very important pressure cooker moments in his career as well, like mm. Vegas, um, champion versus champion, mm -hmm. Twitch, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, tournament settings, mm -hmm. always, and he's always shown up and and elevated to that next level in them super important significant moments. Mm -hmm. Do you can you go back to any parts in your career as well where you'll say, Do you know what? They're like the big significant pressure cooker moments I've been in. And do you think they match the moments he's had? I mean, I knocked him out of a tournament. So that's a good point. That's that's one. Um in the top eight. That was when we were at the beginning of our careers. Yeah. Um I think I don't know. I did most pressure I felt in a battle. I mean my pay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was a lot of pressure <laughs> on that one. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> DNA was probably where I felt the most pressure, to yeah. be honest, um, because I was gonna go in there to kill him because he had we was on a terrible run at the time, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm a, you know I'm gonna show up and smoke this guy. I was like 20, I think, when right. I battled DNA, and um, he used to be like one of my favorite when I was before I started watching battling. So it was like that was a big moment for me, mm -hmm. um, and. I guess Tony, because I was running the event that I battled Tony on. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, no, I, I wasn't supposed to battle Tony. This is the thing. I wasn't supposed to okay. battle on the card at all. It was supposed to be Quill versus Tony D. Okay. And then Quill, like, closer to the event, was like, nah. And now and you guys like, are two on two. Right? We are two on two. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Comes that was years circle, and years right? and years hey. ago. It was years and years yeah. and years ago. So, um, but yeah. Um, I think those are probably the most, but I haven't been in like the tournament type setting since, you know, our tournament in the yeah. top eight. I haven't, um, obviously there was anarchy, but I couldn't continue with that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think he's had, you know, his more like a lot more writing on some of his wins than I have before, but that doesn't really pay any mind. I'm here to do a job. Yeah. Um, I'm always going to win the battle, whether there's pressure on it or not. I don't think it really changes what my approach would be. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sam in, lad. You look like, like I was going to say. Uh, Snoozing off, then. Yeah, yeah. Um, will you edit that bit out, then? Because I just looked on, so I didn't know what to say. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck do I say? Yeah, they both been good. good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess. We, we said enough. It's been a, it's been a, an eye-opening face-off. Mm. For me, for one, and I personally, I'm just uh, I'm excited for this battle. I I felt like the scene has lacked championship quality guys for a while. I think you two are like two of the most exciting guys in battle rap, not just Thank British you. battle rap. And it's been amazing to see both your journeys and the fact that you come in head to head at this point is like super dope. Uh, the narrative, the storyline, however you want to say it, I just think it's uh, someone's got to lose. That's the problem. Like, mm. someone's got to lose. Yeah, and I do feel bad for him, too. <laughs> so before we leave then, champ, what's up with you? Predictions as, as far as the rounds go? Told you, I have to beat him 3-0. Otherwise, we won't hear the end of it. Even if he wins, we won't hear the end of it. If I win 2-1, we won't hear the end of it. So he has to be cleared for his hip. So I think I have to go in there trying to edge him on every round. So that's uh, that's that's what I'm planning on doing. And challenger, do I even have to ask? <laughs> no, <laughs> obviously it's a it's a clear three zero for me. It's a clear three zero. Like I, Bizzo fans will give him a round. I said this. Bizzo fans will give him a round because he likes to like really pack one round. Yeah. So Bizzo Bizzo fans will give him a round, but it's, it's yeah, that's it. He can't he can't compete in any other way. So he's turning the electric off, <laughs> boring everyone. So yeah, that was the face off for the title match at Absolute twenty third of Fuck April. Bizzo, he's trash. The Patreon subscribers saw this before the YouTube subscribers. So if you are not on Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash Premier Battles for just £3.50, you can see all this crazy content before anyone else sees it. My Battle with Tally is out right now, and this championship match will be out on the Patreon before the YouTube. So don't be daft. Get on the Patreon. Let's book them subscribers up so we can do more for the British battle rap scene. My name's been Shotty Horror. This is Cole J. Let's go. UK champion Bizzo Bond, Premier Battles, Absolute. Let's get it. Bizzo's trash. No, he's not.